اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم ڈیٹا امپیوٹیشن نو دیر آر فور ڈفرینٹ میتھڈس دیٹ ون کین یوز فار ڈیٹا امپیوٹیشن نو دا فرسٹ ٹو میتھڈس دیٹ آر پاس آف دس پرٹیکولر ٹیوٹوریل دیٹ از سیریز مین امپیوٹیشن اینڈ لینئر انٹرپولیشن امپیوٹیشن they are performed in SPSS. The reason they are performed in SPSS is that they are easily accomplished in SPSS. So how do I address missing data? Now there are two prominent ways to handle missing data. One is a list or pairwise deletion and the other one is imputation. Now I do not encourage deletion because you throw away a lot of data by doing this. If a respondent misses one question, the whole survey is dropped from the analysis. So if you used listwise or pairwise deletion, what you are doing is you are throwing away very important data. So previous research has shown that you can remedy up to 20 to 30% of the missing data with an imputation technique and still have a good parameter estimate. So imputation is often a better option if you do not have an excessive amount of missing data. Imputation is where your software program will replace each missing value with a numeric guess. Now the most popular imputation method is replacing a missing value with a series mean of the indicator. This is usually done for its ease of use but it has a drawback of reducing the variance of variables involved. Not to mention this actually also fails to account for individual differences of specific respondents. A second way to impute data is to use a linear interpolation option. Now this method examines the last valid value before the missing data and then examines the next value after the missing data and imputes a value that is between those two values. Now the linear interpolation imputes based on the idea that your data is in line or is linear. So how do you do series imputation? To use a series imputation and linear interpolation imputation and this can be easily accomplished in SPSS. To replace missing values in SPSS you need to go to transform and then replace missing values. A pop-up window will appear where you will need to select which indicators have missing values and need to be imputed. When you select the indicators to impute the default imputation is series mean labeled as S mean. SPSS will impute the series mean for these indicators and create a new variable with an underscore and one as the new variable name. Now for example, 81 will be renamed as 81 underscore one. Now how do you do this in SPSS? Let's go to SPSS and let's say I've got some missing values here. Let's delete a few values here. So we go to transform replace missing values and let's add 81 you can add multiple variables as well now there is series mean as a method nothing is required just press ok and your values are replaced by series mean so where is your new variable here is your new variable and this is the series mean see this one this one here this one here and this one here. Now, what's the other method? In order to use the linear interpolation method, let's have a look here. It is very similar method to impute using linear interpolation method. After selecting the transform and replace missing values option, you need to select each indicator for imputation. And then, as stated earlier, the default method is actually series mean, but there are options. So what you do is you select linear interpolation option. And make sure that you hit that change button to change the method. Now how do you do this in SPSS? Let's go to SPSS. And here, since we took mean, series mean, Let's use linear interpolation method. Let's delete a few values from 82.
what we need to do is we need to go to transform replace missing values and I'm interested in 82 this one can be removed you can add other variables as well if you want but in this case let's use 82 now this is the new variable 82 underscore 1 I'm not interested in using series mean rather I'm interested in using linear interpolation so method is linear interpolation so I click linear interpolation but nothing happens so you have to select or click change now it is changed what you need to do is just click ok and your creating function is lint all well let's have a look now look here so your missing values are replaced now which one 82 the second value was replaced look at the second value 5 but here it was series mean here it's discrete value so this is how you can use both these methods to replace your missing values. Now in order to know more about missing values, this is a very good book to know more about missing values.